Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, 10 Minute Engineering Solutions. Today I will be discuss Alan Bradley uh, MicroLogic 1400 PLC. So, if you know system have available in the uh, MicroLogic for 1400, so there is a little bit problem in inside in field device sensor or anything, anything wrong. So, within the very short time, the alarm is coming from the PLC. So, how you reset the from the PLC the error code. So today is detailing about the system. So if you want to uh, agree to see the, all the videos, for it will be helpful for you. So in this system, it will be very helpful for in your system uh, applications for the Allen Bradley MicroLogic 1400. So I will describe about it and uh, detailing. So. Please, if you are first in my channel, please subscribe my channel and share with your friend for the very easy and clear information in here. So I'll give you. First of all, you can see the picture in here. So in the analog output module, digital analog, uh, digital module, and then analog input module. So you can see the three module in here. One of the main PLC module, and this is the Microsoft 1400, and it's showing the error. Error. You can see the blinking. The showing the fault the error signal blinking in here so how to reset so is this fault how to reset uh, basically i'm just trying in the first moment so is there the found the analog module for problem in my system have the the analog output module as the found the problem now with the module cover you can see the picture in here the analog module card this is there is the uh, 0 to 10 volt for the vfd run signals so there is no VFD run signal for the 0 to 10 volts so that's why and the node generated the from the output module so this is the module uh, bus connections so first of all before we start working uh, I have to stop the main breaker for the PLC that this is the main main breaker for the power in the PLC first of all I'm just start before I start the work so you have to stop the power so now the power is off. You can see the picture in here. The clear the power is totally disabled. There is no power. Now I'm opening the uh, the bus connection from the PLC to PLC connection. So you can see the picture in here. Now open the bus connections from the before uh, module. Before connected module. So uh, you can see this is the all the connection in here. Analog input connection, analog output connection, and the some the digital input connection digital output connections in here so my my system is problem for the analog module card so there is no output for the 0 to 10 volt for that's why uh, the form maybe something is wrong the bus connections maybe loose or something is wrong that's why the error is showing so when the first of all first time i'm just trying to reset it but there is uh, no not reset it pro 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 perfectly because of still the problem is uh, inside the Bus, bus connections or the not connected properly with the first module to say the second module that's why not connected and not the uh, error is going so now you can see the uh, i'll just turn on the power again you can see the video the ready going to be ready the plc the micrologs is 1400 still the alarm is blinking so you have to you need to clear uh, specify it to the you can see the picture in here the indication in the first and second module also but third module there is no indications because it's still the, the alarm is blinking but uh, error code is blinking in the plc so that's why the third module is no no indications in the indicator line so you have to how i solve this problem so you can see the picture very clearly on this point so i'm going to the PLC and the the next button you can see the picture in here the program button and the module and the address and the below the system is a in the last option you can see the last option and they enter the last option and you have to set the you have to set the program button and then they're going to the run system run signal then now the reload is solved you can see first of all you have to go the error button and the modular modular function and the last option you can enter when you enter the last option and then going to the program mode and then then reset button button okay again 
and the problem will be solved. You can see the now the number all the module power is given. Integration analysis showing the integration all the module. But now I'm just observing the 0 to 10 volt is come out from this cable and going to the this cable, this VFD. This is the Danfoss VFD. The number now the connection is open. I have to connect it now because the PLC have no alarm now. So I'm now connected with the VFD. And then off it will be solved. So you can stay with me. So you can see the picture in here. There is a no alarm in, in the PLC module now. All the analog module and output module, uh, digital analog module is connection is available and indication also is turned on. Now power is everything is on, on conditions. Now I'm going to the run signal and for the machine. You can see the picture in here. The HMI of the machines. Now we check for the machine's running conditions. There is the emergency button, there is the push button and off button. There is the HMI uh, for machine running condition. We just check in the operator. You can see the selector position. We just change. Yes, now the machine is running. You can see here yeah, the machine is BPM. 200 BPM is running, bottle per minute. 200 bottle per minute machine is running. And start an off mode. When you off, it will be the totally off mode. So again, you just want to see the video, uh, clear video information. So when I start button, the VFD is getting signal from the PLC. And then, yes, you know, the module indicator is right, turn on. VFD is also turned on 15.5 hertz. And the, the machine is also run 100 BPM, 100 bottle per minute on on conditions now. You can also see the machine is turned on conditions. These are all the things for your for my systems. If you similar have problem in your system, you can uh, thank you for thank you for seeing this.